YouTube, what's up everybody? Back with another video and today I want to talk a little bit about helmets. Haven't gotten to this topic yet um, doing any videos and um, since I've been uh, since I've been biking I've been um, and before I even had a mountain bike when I was actually cycling I've had multiple different types of helmets um, and so I've, I've, I've tried a few different brands, a few different companies and kind of going to kind of going to go over which ones I've uh, been playing around with since I've started. But I wanted to upgrade and get a pretty decent high end helmet um, this time. Uh, but I'll kind of talk a little bit, a little bit about that in a few. So the first bike helmet that I started with is actually one that I'm getting ready to sell pretty soon. And it is the compass by triple eight and this particular bike helmet um, is actually really good and I might end up keeping this one right here um, it's a matte black finish it actually matches the epic perfectly if I decide to keep that bike but um very well made it's not a MIPS from my understanding um, it doesn't have that technology in it but um but it does have you're pretty much standard um, foam and everything in there the actual padding um, and the vent as well in the front um, pretty decent decent helmet never had any problems with it um, I think right now these are running for this the compass is running for I think around $60 uh, and I think that's what I paid for it at the time so um, the compass by triple eight has been a been a really good bike helmet for me over the years over there so and this was before I actually got into mountain bike and I was wearing that one when I was um, doing a lot of hybrid uh, bike riding as well after that one I went up to the I think this is pronounced the uh, Giro helmets which is your pretty much standard um, you see the Giro or the Giro um, bike helmet these are the standard ones you see a lot of bikers wear they sell them um, at different stores but uh, I know Dick's has a lot of them in stock and a lot of uh, bike shops have these in stock as well there's numerous kinds of models um, this is more of your basic model the uh, Revel uh, or Revel um, bike helmet and uh, this one same very similar with the padding um, this is not MIPS as well, but uh, it has your universal sizing uh, tab in the back, and this one's pretty been pretty decent as well. Can't complain about this one or the uh, compass. The only thing I don't like about these particular helmets are the actual straps. Um, the way that they have the straps are a little bit different than some of my other bike helmets, and it can get a little tricky trying to adjust them. And so, um, but I mean, for the most part, it's not difficult to figure out, but decent helmet for the price I think these usually range this particular model ranges for like fifty dollars you can catch them on sale I think as low as thirty five I think I've seen them on sale for maybe forty um, at different shops but I know Dix usually has a sale on these they'll knock like ten or fifteen dollars off the price of those um, the next one up this is like the, your basic Walmart target type helmets that you can find these are this is an actual Schwinn what they call a thrasher helmet but um, they sell these in multiple different colors multiple different styles um, it's actually padded very very well it's actually padded better than both of those brands that I just showed you but um, it is a lot heavier and um, the the straps on this one are really really thick like these things will get hot and probably start itching after a while uh, of course you know they're just uh, made out of cheaper materials but for the most part um, I had I don't I haven't worn this one. This one's brand new, but I had a helmet just like this one, same color, an adult size. This is a youth size, and uh, these are decent helmets as well. If you're just trying to get started, I think these run for like 22 bucks or something um, at your local stores. And so that's that one. This one um, I actually found in a pawn shop. Going to a pawn shop with my dad. Uh, this one was on a decent price. Now I, I know it's a Bond Traeger. I don't know the exact model. Let me see if it's in here. Oh, the Solstice, the Bontrager Solstice. Um, I want to say they were asking sixty dollars for this helmet. I just like the color on it, especially for nighttime riding, just because it's so bright. And um, they knocked off like half. I think I got this helmet for like half off, brand new. I think it was like thirty bucks. So I couldn't beat that. Um, 
and yeah this is the solstice on there it might actually retail more for 60 but i know that's what they were asking when i first got it but nice helmet really cool colors on uh, the padding in it is decent uh, it's a lot lighter uh, than some of the other ones that i have the straps on this one are actually thicker as well and this is not mips either but um actually none of these helmets are going to be mips as well so but cool helmet this one right here is the new helmet that i got and um so here's the thing i'm you know you go online and you go to some of these websites and you search some of these brand helmets and i mean i've seen helmets go up to four or five hundred dollars um but you know to me i'll never pay more than like 120 bucks max for a helmet and so i found this one on sale for exactly that but i think it retails at close to 200 dollars. this is the poc axon um helmet now it's funny because online when you read about it it gives all of these technology things that this helmet has and this is not mips either it doesn't have that technology but all of these other things it can do like the breakaway visor and all of that but when i got it and you feel it and you look at it and you open it you're just like this is just like any other mountain bike helmet um it's just as light has just as much star i mean the foam in there um has just as much of the padding and um you know you got your your universal adjusting mount in the back straps are pretty much the same and yeah besides that i mean this is no different from a uh i don't know uh, a 20 to 30 dollar helmet um so i guess you pretty much paying for the name brand more than anything uh, on this particular one now what I will say about this helmet which I just got this today so I've not used it as of yet I know the fit is perfect on my head this is a medium large and it fits perfect and I got a lot of hair right now normally like my hair is shorter um, so when I cut it it should fit perfectly as well but I do like the fit on this one better than any other helmet the solstice fits pretty good as well but this one is like a perfect fit and I don't even have to tighten it or anything so their medium large sizes are are definitely the way to go for me um, and I have a pretty small head I think it measured at like 59 centimeters when I measured it uh, so um, if you are 59 centimeters or close to it then a medium large and a POC helmet should work for you but uh, yeah it's a pretty cool helmet matches the stump jumper um, so I like that but what I did was I had a lot of other I had about seven or eight helmets man because what would happen is i would go to different stores or just different pawn shops and i'll see brand new ones on sale for cheap and i would just have extra ones around the house and then i decided i don't need all of these helmets so i've sold about three or four helmets recently and the ones i have in the car that i just showed you now are the ones that um, i got left but uh i think i'm just going to try to narrow it down to to about three helmets and then just sell all the rest of them i don't i don't need all of these helmets so so yeah that's just a review i mean a quick quick update i'll do another update or just talk about how this one how the poc uh performs you know as far as heat and things of that nature on there fit movement things of that nature but what i do like about this one is the straps the strap system on this helmet is probably the easiest one yeah it's probably the easiest strap system i've seen on any helmet um, literally you just adjust one side of it you don't even mess with this side and then it just clips in the fit all of these other helmets you you can adjust both sides and then you know which is kind of cool I guess but when you adjust both sides it, it just makes the the helmet get off a little bit off off balance or off centered and sometimes it gets tangled up and I, I just hate dealing with with those straps but these straps seem like us a lot easier uh with it just being on one side on there so yeah i'm kind of hyped about that pretty cool pretty cool helmet i like the colorway on there it matches the bike perfectly um but uh yeah i paid 120 for it i think again i think it's like a 180 or 200 helmet no way in the world i'll pay that much for a helmet especially now that i got it and see that it's no no much better quality than some of these other cheaper helmets um it's just not worth paying that much for so if you can get it on a really good sale or buy it slightly used or you know find it at a pawn shop for a good deal then, then yeah and it's always good to stock up on some extra helmets around the house in case people come over and they want to ride your bike or things of that nature or let's say one breaks or cracks you got another one on spare or standby but for the most part um you know i'm not gonna 
keep seven or eight helmets in the house. It just just wasn't worth it. I just didn't realize how many helmets I was collecting over time. So when riding on the trails, you know, the first thing you notice is, you know, someone that drives by, you're going to look at them, their face, of course. And then, of course, you're going to look at their head. And so you're going to see what type of helmet, you know, that people are riding or, or using these days. And um, I see a lot of cool helmets out there. I see some really interesting ones as well. Um, I'm not I don't favor any type of helmet brand I think that even some of the cheaper ones are really good or just as good as some of the more expensive ones on there uh, like I mentioned in this video um, the Bontrager and the POC one are definitely more expensive helmets but it's according to the, I mean look just looking at the foam and the padding in it those 20 that Schwinn and that G roll one basically you know just as good I mean you know I, I just don't I don't see how people pay two three hundred dollars you know for a helmet um, when it's, it's pretty much, you know, not that much of a difference. Now there are some, you know, that have the MIPS technology in it and things of that nature that are definitely high end, but I just think that a lot of them are way overpriced. But I will say this, and anyone out there that thinks they don't need a helmet or that just thinks that, you know, um, they can go riding for a little bit, because from time to time I do see people on a trail without a helmet. That is the craziest thing ever, especially on a mountain bike trail. But not even on that, just on any type of surface, uh, whether it's road, gravel, sidewalk, paved trails, whatever the case may be, you need to wear a helmet. It is the most important thing. It's the most important piece of equipment. Your head is only so much protected by your skull. And the thing is, is um, I can you know, say firsthand off experience, back in 2000, I got into a motorcycle accident. I had absolutely no protection on. I had on short sleeve shirt, shorts. I had on tennis shoes. I was just going to the bank to cash a check and go back home. And um, I don't want to get into the whole story, but make a long story short, when I got into the accident, the first thing that I um, that I landed on was my head. And thank God I had a helmet on. Um, Cause in the Carolinas, there is no, well, in South Carolina, I think in North Carolina too at the time, there was no helmet law. So you could ride motorcycles without a helmet. And to this day, you see people out there riding bikes without a helmet. And um, the first thing I landed on was my head. And I came about, I don't know, I think it was like a foot from hitting a fire hydrant. When I stood up, my helmet had a crack in it and my shoes had flown off and my arm was dislocated, hanging down almost to my feet. And so, um, well not to my feet, but probably to like, you know, a right, little bit past my knee. And so that's the first thing I landed on. If I didn't have a helmet on that day, I would be completely dead or brain damaged or vegetable. And so I, I don't play around when it comes to helmets. Anyone who rides with me, anytime I see a person out there without a helmet, normally if I'm close enough to say something, I will. It's just, it's your best investment is to protect your skull. I mean, you, you gotta protect your brain, you gotta protect your head. So wear a helmet, guys. Don't, don't play around with this stuff. Even just simple things like I've been doing this long enough now to know that a simple trip to the store on a bike, you just never know what may happen. A car may hit you. You may not be paying attention, hit a curve. You know, you may look at your phone, glance at your camera, whatever the case may be, and just and just end up falling, you know, or crashing or running into something and, and, and possibly hitting your head. So wear your helmets. I cannot stress that enough. Make sure you buy a helmet, even if it's a cheap helmet or whatever the case may be. Um, I also help do bike giveaways to um, with the organization here in Orlando. And one of the things that we strive and, and take pride upon is when we give out bikes to kids, we make sure we provide a helmet for them and stress the importance of a helmet. Uh, you, it's your biggest investment when it comes to, to biking. So I do understand that you know a lot of these helmets do cost a lot of money, but it doesn't necessarily mean all of them are better than the cheaper brands. When it comes to safety with your head, just wear a helmet regardless of what it is you need one on i cannot stress that enough but other than that guys that's about it um hope you guys enjoyed and uh i will catch you guys on the next video peace